I have kind of ruined this movie already because this won't be the first start. I didn't actually expect it to start a few seconds ago and I should have had the camera ready to prove it. I would say it turned over for five seconds and then started. Uh, it's been at least a year since I've started it. I could probably check the last video. The last video I would have done in this car would have been the, uh, the start. But I'll show you. I'm just going to turn it. I'm not going to set it. It probably is still set to be choke on. It's just that easy, folks. Now, that's kind of a sign that... Well, it doesn't, it doesn't prove much, but... It's still probably a sign that this is a good engine to replace um, the one in the 66 and then have it rebuilt or do whatever. The reason I say that is because we know that there's a uh, compression problem on the red one on cylinder three, so its uh, rings are worn out. And um, so something will need to happen ultimately to the 66. I did buy this blue, this one, uh, four parts for that, or if I wasn't parting this, uh, at least as a backup to that in case uh, something bad happened to the red one and I had to drive something else, but that was when I was driving in every day. Um, so it's no longer necessary for um, it's no longer necessary uh, as the uh, thing it was. Now it can go back to a parts car is kind of what I'm getting at. A little bit moldy in here as uh, there are some known leak points. I'm kind of surprised the gas hasn't gone shitty actually. There isn't a whole lot of gas in there. Uh, it does, it is showing on the, it's actually showing a quarter tank on the fuel gauge here. Maybe I'll let the engine come up to temperature here because uh, it won't have done that for quite a while. Actually, I might as well take you and let's go see what, uh, it's been a while since we've been under the hood. Let's go see that. I'll be right back. idling low, but check that out. Twenty some inches. Look how peppy that is. It's pretty interesting because sometimes this car didn't like to idle too much. Uh, not until it uh, warmed up, anyway. Still not showing anything on the temperature gauge. Now, maybe I forgot. Maybe the temperature gauge don't work. I think it did, though. But I have had the dash out, right? The windshield wipers still aren't working. Because I think I'm missing a wire on the back of the switch. When I had, when I had the dash out to replace that wire. <clears throat> there are still some things that I haven't, uh, I haven't put the pad back on, either. So there's a whack of things I haven't done to this car, the poor thing. I don't really want to sell it. I do want to get that stupid shock done though. Because no matter what, I gotta put it back on its wheels. It's been on stands for way too long. And uh but yeah shit, sure is healthy right now. Oh it's come off the peg there. Temperature gauge is working. I 
I used to like driving this thing into work. I mean, power steering, power brakes, you know, that, that's as cush as it gets in my fleet. Yeah, of course, this is a 74, so it has a, you know, the electrical system is slightly advanced compared to the 66. It's a new alternator in here as well, and uh, the battery is brand new. Well, yeah. I was kind of surprised. The reason I didn't even put the camera up in the window when I first started it, I thought the battery would be stone dead. I didn't bother to check it or anything, and I haven't started it, and I haven't topped up the battery, so I just expected, yeah, no, it's going to be toast. That's one of those diehard ones that I don't know who makes those these days, but, um, and I was never, uh, you know, I don't have a particular battery variety, but, you know, my dad had always told me that he thought diehards were good. Beats me. But <laughs> this one is, anyway. We don't get really extreme temperatures here anyway, so it's not like it goes to minus 30. But at the beginning of, uh, in November, we had some uh, cold snaps there. But cold snap here is zero degrees science. Yeah, it's up to a good temp now. 160 or so. Anyway, I forgot how much I like this car. I don't really want to tear it apart either. Like, I'd rather not take the engine out, but... I don't know, we'll see. I don't have any need for the chassis at that point. The real problem is that I put some beautiful fucking uh, control arms in here. Tubular control arms, because that's all I could find. This had a... When I first bought it, it had a bent control arm. And uh, an upper. And... Because they were just uh, stamped, stamped steel. But um, yeah, the only thing I could, the only thing I could get was a three hundred fifty dollar U.S. pair of uh, tubular ones for racing. Super lightweight, fucking strong. Like you'll never bend that. If you bend that, you've 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 totaled the car. So you know, I've often thought those really should be in the sixty six, but I don't know if they're. I don't know if the mounts are the same or whatever. There might be enough difference, you know. I mean, it's only eight years difference, but you know, a lot happens, right? I mean, I think for really what this thing's worth and for what it is, it probably would make more sense to donate this engine to the red one. And I mean, nothing stops me from taking either the um, uh, either my uh, what was I calling the the other slant that Luke and I picked up there, uh, Mistress. Um, either build up the the Mistress, which will be you know five or six hundred bucks for a rebuild kit probably, um, or take this one. I guess make sure you know go over it again and make sure it's in good shape, so I don't have to rebuild it or whatever. Yank it out of here, put it in the red one. Take the red one, and between the Mistress and the red one, um, you know make up you know rebuild it and put whatever in here so that's it, not bad it's a lot of shuffling and work but uh, that might be a really neat project anyway I think that's probably it for now I wasn't really intending to do a movie today like I say I, I stepped in expecting full failure and didn't bother to put the camera up and then uh, I only turned it over one round for four or five seconds and it completely started up and had no problems it wasn't even uh, struggling to stay running or anything I did have the joke set but uh, it, it wasn't even uh, having issues with it so pretty much got it like that shit anyway thanks uh, everyone I will be back soon with something or other and um, we'll talk then have a good day be kind and uh, talk soon bye